Hi, this is Parul. Today, I want to share with you a short yoga routine that you can start your day with. This routine is really good when you're short on time and you still want to get yoga into your daily routine, releasing the tightness and stiffness from your body and starting your day with a positive note. With that, let's start our practice for today. So you can start this practice sitting in cross-legged position, resting your hands gently on your thighs, keep your spine long, let your shoulders relax, close your eyes. Just take a few seconds to observe your body, observe your breath, observe where you're feeling stiff, tight. This is also a good time to set your intention for your day or anything positive you want to tell yourself. Just take a deep breath in through your nose and breathe out through your nose. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your nose. Two more. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your nose. Breathe in through your nose. And breathe out through your nose. Now slowly open your eyes. Okay, now rest your right elbow down, left hand over your ear, left palm facing down, releasing your sides, which tend to get tight, and then you press into your right palm, resting your Left elbow down, right hand over your ear. The tight sides can lead to lower back pain, so it's very important to release sides. And then you press into your left palm, come back to the center. Okay, now you take your arms at the shoulder level, take your arms back, take your head back. Breathe in. And then you breathe out, get your arms forward rounding your back chin to the chest so it's like a cat and cow breathe and take your arms back head back and breathe out arms forward rounding your back chin to the chest a few more like this coordinate with your breath breathe and take your arms back and breathe out arm forward rounding your back one more breathe and take your arms back head back and breathe out, extend your arms forward. Now interlace your fingers and push your palms out. Your palms at the eye level, opening your back. And then you take your arms up, breathe in. Breathe out, lean to your right. Breathe in, come back to the center. Breathe out, lean to your left. And breathe in, come back to the center. Breathe out, release. Now resting your palms down or your fingertips. Take your shoulder blades in, take your head back. A gentle low back, a gentle back bend. Staying here for a few seconds. For five, four, three, two. One, head to neutral position, take your arms and breathe in, lengthen your spine and breathe out, come forward, rest your forearms down, let your shoulders relax, let your neck relax, and just staying here for a few seconds, it's a really good posture to release compression from your spine, from your lower back, from your hips, staying here for a few seconds. And then you gently take your arms up, breathe in, lengthen your spine and breathe out, you twist to your right, left hand on the right knee, right hand back, lift your heart up, breathe in, breathe out, twist to your right. And breathe in, take your arms back to the center, take your arms up, breathe in, lengthen your spine and breathe out, twist to your left, right hand on the left knee, left hand back, drawing your left shoulder back, continue to breathe.
and come back to the center okay now extend your arms take your right arm over left arm to eagle arms i'm going to show the side view yeah so we're going to release our upper back so now take your elbows up head back breathe so releasing any stiffness in your neck your shoulders and then you gently get your arms down you're going to open it and you're going to take your left over right now or change whatever you were doing before okay and then you take your arms up elbows up breathe in staying here for five four three two one and you're going to release it and release your arms okay from here just take your hands on your shoulders and then just take your elbows back one two three four five and change it five four three two one okay from here you're going to come on all fours resting your palms underneath your shoulders knees under your hips we'll do cat and cow drop your belly down chin away from your chest shoulders relax so this is really good for warming up your spine your lower back and breathe out rounding your back chin to the chest looking towards the belly button breathe in arc your back drop your belly slightly down chin away from your chest and breathe out rounding your back chin to the chest looking towards your belly button one more breathe in arc your back shoulders relax chin away from your chest and breathe out chin to the chest looking towards the belly button making a c with your spine and then you come to neutral position okay you're going to take your right arm out and left leg out so warming up your core so when you're here just check your left foot left hip left thigh uh, left shoulder in line also check if your left outer hip is lifting up okay so square your hips breathe for one two three four five right arm back left leg back now left arm out right leg out check the same alignment and breathe for 5 4 3 2 1 left hand in right leg in okay from here you're going to extend your arms forward and lower down your arms your chest your forehead down okay so your forehead touches the mat your heart is getting closer to the mat so like the same melting into your mat so anahata asana heart to earth also called puppy stretch breathe let your shoulders and neck relax so this is really good to open your upper back staying here for few seconds for 5 4 3 2 1 and slowly get your arms in and we're going to get into now gate pose so come on your knees like this yes and extend your right leg out and slide your right arm down on your right leg taking your left arm over your ear left palm facing down left toe tucked in so really good to release your right inner thigh and come back and change extend your left leg slide your left arm down take your right hand over your ear right palm facing down continue to breathe stay here for two seconds for five four three two one and okay from here we're going to go on all four again okay and you're going to extend your right leg forward right foot in between your palms push your left leg back so make sure you're not directly on your left knee like this try to push your left leg back 
okay and your right knee on top of your right ankle so on your fingertips shoulders relax chest open so hip flexor tend to get tight every day you have to release it so tight hip flexor can lead to lower back stress and then from here extend your left le right leg straighten it coming in hanuman asana half split breathe so really good to release your hamstring in the morning to make your feel to make your leg feel light and then you rest your right foot down plant your left palm down lift your left knee up and open your body to the right right arm up and of course if you're not feeling up to it you can rest your left knee down as well okay so take your options 5 4 3 Two, one. Get your right arm back. Take your right leg back. Come on, all four. Extend your left leg forward. Push your right leg back. Resting on your fingertips. Chest open. Shoulders relax. Opening your right hip flexor. Staying here for five, four, three, two. what now extend your left leg releasing your hamstring on the left side staying here for few seconds and you're moving from your hips back so make sure you're not rounding your spine for 5 4 3 2 1 rest your left foot down plant your right palm down and open your body to the left you can release your right knee off the mat or resting your right knee on the mat take your options breathe for 5 4 3 2 1 take your left leg left arm back rest your right knee down take your left leg coming on all four again and then from here we're going to go in downward dog so tuck your toes knees up hips up push your hips back go in downward dog And when you are in downward dog, check your alignment. Your toes pointing forward, feet hip width apart, pressing into your palm. Push the torso towards your thighs. Staying here for five, four, three, two, one. And from here, come in plank. So plank is a strength pose. You check your body is parallel to the mat. Okay. Of course, uh, initially when you are starting plank, your hips will tend to sink down, so you keep working on it. And then from here, rest your knees, slide your body on the mat, coming on your forearms, coming in baby cobra. So this is really relaxing for your lower back. Relax your shoulders, chest open. Continue to breathe for five. Four, three, two, one. Now, gently get your palms underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes. Press into your palms. Come on, all. Come in downward dog. And then from downward dog, you walk your feet towards your hands. Coming in forward fold. So when you are in forward fold, don't worry if your hands are not touching the mat. just rest your hand wherever it reaches comfortably just make yourself comfortable here your neck shoulders relaxed and you can just hold your alternate elbows gently swinging side to side you can micro bend your legs releasing your hamstring staying here for few seconds and then you release your hands bend your legs a bit Take your hands back, interlace your fingers, a little chest opener, release for your shoulders. Yes, and let your neck as a natural extension. Extend your arms, open your shoulders. Continue to breathe, and then you slowly release and lower down your hips, coming in Malasana Garland Pose. Okay, so your elbows are in, pushing your knees out. So really good pose to really energize you. Release your hips, your groin, and shoulders relax. Chest open. And 
breathe staying here for five four three two one and then you slowly release sitting down yes now bend your legs palms resting on the mat fingers pointing forward fingers wide open you're going to lift your hips up reverse tabletop knees pointing forward take your head back really give you a good opening in your arms and your shoulders your entire body for five four three two one and rest your hips down on the mat extending your legs in the dasana now take your right leg over left leg take your left arm up breathe in lengthen your spine and breathe out hug your right leg in twisting to the right drawing your right shoulder back and slowly coming to the center extend your right leg change it to the other side left leg over right leg take your right arm up breathe in and hug your left leg in and gently twisting to your left drawing your left shoulder back and then you gently release come back to the center extend your left leg okay from here we're going to go in seated forward fall okay so take your arms and breathe in lengthen your spine and breathe out to go forward moving from your hips don't worry if you don't touch your toes with your hands you can rest your hand wherever it reaches you can also bend your leg if your lower back is stiff today feel free to take the option staying here for 5 4 3 2 1 and you gently release take your arms and breathe in lengthen your spine and breathe out come forward okay now you're going to lie down on the mat okay so slowly lie down let your legs be bent heels closer to the hips taking your arms by the side of your body palms facing down going to press into your palm and lift your hips up bridge pose so really good for your lower back and take your chest to the chin and chin to the sky and breathe and then slowly get your upper back middle back lower back down okay now take your right leg just like this bending your right leg your right heel on top of your left knee okay reclining pigeon option to just stay like this or you can release your left foot holding your left knee okay you can hold it from outside or you can also hold your left thigh yes now we'll stay here for few seconds let your neck and shoulders relax get your left leg closer to your body releasing your hips for 5 4 3 2 1 now you release resting your left foot down you're going to change it to the other side so take your left leg up and release your right leg holding your right leg and breathe getting your right leg closer to your chest staying here for 5 4 3 2 1 now rest your right foot down left foot down okay we are going to go for spinal twist so just get the arms heels closer to the hips taking both the legs bent to the left side and you're looking in the opposite direction of the legs so you're on the right side so very relaxing for your lower back continue to breathe and then come back to the center change to the other side so taking both the legs to the right and looking in the opposite direction okay and then you come back to the center ease your arms hug your knees and then you gently swing side to side very relaxing for your lower back and you can also make circles with your knees so making gentle small circles 
very massage, a good massage for your low back, your sacrum, and you can change the direction. Okay, and then you stop doing that, rest your feet down, back on the mat, and then you can drop your knee down, coming in sleeping butterfly, resting your hands gently on your thighs. Take a moment to let your body relax, cool down. And then you slowly get your legs in, extend your legs coming in Shavasana, corpse pose. So hands by the side of your body, palms facing up. Take this last few seconds to let your mind relax, let your body relax. So whatever you want to do after this practice, just hold it for last few seconds. So try not to interact with your thoughts. Keep it at the back of your mind. Just focus on your breath. And if you want to stay here for slightly longer time, you can do that. And if you want to come out of the pose, just take your arms up, stretching your arms up, interlace your fingers. And then you release your hands, slowly turning to the side of your mat. And then with the help of your hands, come up. Closing your eyes. Now we end the practice with one pranama practice. So take your right hand. Taking the right thumb out and pinky finger out, gently resting your right thumb on your right nostril, breathing in through your left, breathe out through your right. So very relaxing for your breath, breathe in through your right, breathe out through your left, breathe in through your left. And breathe out through your right. Breathe in through your right. And breathe out through your left. You can release your hand, closing your eyes for a few more seconds, observing how you're feeling. Observe your body, observe your breath, observe how you're feeling as compared to when you started. So this will really be helpful in building the practice of awareness, connecting to your body through yoga. And also if you want to repeat your intention, any positive affirmation that you made, any positive affirmation that you said at the beginning of this practice, you can think about that again. And if you're ready to end this practice, rub your palms gently and feeling the warmth of your palms gently on your eyes, on your arms, on your stomach, on your legs. And take your hands gently at the heart center, breathing in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. And then slowly open your eyes. And we are done with the practice for today. I hope you will enjoy this practice and will start your morning routine with this flow. Thank you so much. See you again.